Today, the Frugal Man LA is on the west side to show you all some of my favorite free attractions. There are so many free things to do here, I can't fit them all into one day or one video. So when you finished watching, head over to my blog at thefrugalmanla.com and click on even more free things to do in West LA. All right, we're starting here in Beverly Hills and heading to the beach. David's got his bulletproof coffee so he can try to keep up with me. Let's get going. My first stop is a hidden gem tucked away in the hills of Beverly Hills. Greystone Mansion and Gardens is an 18-acre public park where you can feel like a member of the upper crust. Completed in 1928 for the son of oil tycoon Edward L. Doheny, the city of Beverly Hills purchased the property in 1965 and opened it to the public in 1971. While you're free to explore the gardens, the mansion is only open for special events. A popular filming location for movies and television, you might encounter a production during your visit. So I made it to Westwood and had to stop because it's hammer time. The Hammer Art Museum and Cultural Center is known for its artist-centric and progressive array of exhibitions. In addition, the museum also hosts over 300 programs throughout the year, from lectures and readings to concerts and film screenings. Check their website at hammer.ucla.edu to see their current schedule. Admission to the museum's collections, exhibitions, and programs are completely free to all visitors, making the Hammer the West Side's cultural hub. All right, I'm moving on to UCLA to check out three free attractions, and the first one is truly out of this world. Make your way to the geology building, follow the signs to room 3697, and you'll find the UCLA Meteorite Gallery. With over 1,500 meteorites, it's one of the largest collections in the country. About 100 of them are exhibited here in the gallery. Explore the gallery on your own weekdays from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. or visit on Sundays from 1 to 4 p.m. when it's staffed with volunteer docents. The Mildred E. Mathias Botanical Garden is a 7.5 acre garden at UCLA containing a diverse collection of plant species from around the world. Environments range from a shady, lush interior complete with streams and ponds to sunny Mediterranean and dry desert sections. These gardens are the perfect spot to explore plant diversity and escape the daily grind. The Franklin D. Murphy Sculpture Garden is one of the most distinguished outdoor sculpture installations in the country. Over 70 sculptures are scattered across more than five acres of UCLA's campus. The Sculpture Garden brings together figural and abstract works that invite visitors to pause, reflect, and enjoy the interplay of art and nature. Our final stop today is here in Santa Monica at Camera Obscura. This seaside attraction has been delighting visitors for over a hundred years. Originally built on the beach in 1898, when Camera Obscuras were a common attraction, it was moved to the current location on Ocean Avenue in 1955. The captain's wheel is used to steer the lens and mirror contained in the turret above for a 360 degree view of the outside neighborhood, which is then projected onto the large disc in the center of the room. To get the full effect, you've got to turn off the lights. The Camera Obscura is believed to be one of the earliest optical inventions dating back at least 2,000 years, and you can try it out yourself for free here in Santa Monica. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out all the free attractions here in West LA. Head over to my blog at thefrugalmanla.com and I'll show you how to find the free Cold War Museum in Culver City. 
take free tours of the Bologna wetlands and Playa Vista and much more. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's where I'm throwing out all the latest deals I find, free food, BOGO coupons, and free events happening around town. Thanks for joining me today and remember to always stay frosty. You know what they said when I tried to touch a piece of artwork in there? What? You can't touch this. Very nice. If you've made it this far and haven't hit subscribe yet, what the heck are you waiting for? Do it! If you're looking for more free LA activities, check out Downtown LA for free, almost, and check out my free trip to the Huntington, a savings of $25 per person. I'm wearing the same shirt in that video because I'm frugal.